Hi, welcome to this SQL tutorial video and today we're going to look at um, how we can take apart text that's returned uh, within a field in our database. So we're going to look at this field here and it's, okay, so we've got the data that's returned there, but actually what I want is only parts of that data. We're going to use some pretty straightforward functions to do some of it. Um, but I think there's going to be some functions that I'm going to show you that could be new to you. So um, hopefully you're going to learn something um, in this short video. Let us begin with using the function. Um, that's, it's quite a common function. I want to get the starting few characters, um, the first few characters from uh, the text in this column. So to do that, I'm going to use a function called left. And left simply says, get some characters from the left hand uh, position of the text. So I'm going to put in my column, which is the field that I'm interested in getting the data from, and I want to get the first three characters. And I give this an alias left three. That returns me the first three characters. Very, very simple. And there is an opposite function called right that allows you to get the right hand portion of the text. Uh, and then there's also a function that allows you to get data from within um, a piece of text. So substring wants you to give a field. Then it says, okay, now I need two more parameters. The first parameter is the starting position of the text that you want to return. And the second parameter, or the third parameter rather, is how many characters you want to return. So let's imagine I want to return... Um, the second, third, and fourth character of my uh, text. So, sub two, three. So, what this does here, this substring, it looks at a particular field. It has a starting position in this case of two, which in this example is N, and it wants to go three characters. So, N C A R T I, starting at the second position and returning three characters. Now let's imagine that I actually want to start um, from the right-hand side and return not the last character, but the three before it. Now in order to do that, we need to use a new function called len. So let's look at uh, the len function. Len returns the length of a piece of text. So the the reason we want to use len is because if we look at this as an example, if we want to turn three characters from the end except the last character. We want to begin in this example at the end. So this is 11 characters big. Uh, this is the 11th position. 10, 9, 8 is the M, the 8th character. So we can say we want to begin at the length minus 3, 11, minus 3 is 10, 9, 8 begin at position 8 in this example and go across 3. So what we will do is we will say substring my field. The starting position is going to be the length minus 3, which is what we've just worked out. And we want to return 3 characters from that position. Um, So here you can see M E N F A C the last three characters apart from the last character. Now in all of these things, um, we we've used um, len here in this substring call. Now substring, like I said, needs three parameters and you can see in that little grey box it says the first one is an expression the second one is a starting position the third one is a length the second the starting position is an int which you can see I've got to be careful here but it says int after starting position and the length is an int so the first expression is a, is a text value and then parameter 2 and 3 are number values now I know that the result of a length call is going to return me a number if I do a call, the, the, the function right or left, it's going to return me 
some text. But if I do a function call len, it's going to return me a number. So because I know that's a number, I can use it here because that's a number. And substring in the second parameter expects a number. So that kind of, that's why that works. Now let's imagine um, I want to actually return data based on text within um, the column. So let's imagine in some of these examples here, we've got a uh, dash. So I want to return data from the left of the dash and I want to return data from the right of the dash. So in order to do that, we need to use a new function called char index. Character index, the position of a character within a piece of text. Now, oddly, kind of uh, opposite to other function calls, the first parameter that char index wants isn't the field you're going to be looking at. It's actually the bit of text that you're interested in finding. So I'm going to say dash. And I'm searching in my FT type field. So here the value is zero because there isn't a dash. Here the value is 10. And if we kind of count across creature is eight characters, there's a space that's nine, and the dash is at position 10. So now that we know that, we can use char index to get and substring to get the data we need. Sorry, not substring left rather to get the data we need. So when we want to get the left hand um, value before this uh, dash, we can say, oh, I give you the left um, characters up to this number here. Although it's not exactly what we need, but let's just do that here. So we'll say um, left empty type and the amount of characters is just going to be the result of the char index call that we've done above so in this example it's going to give me the left amount of characters up to position 10 that's not exactly what we want because that's going to include the dash but let's just run this so we've got this here, that's not what we want. So what we want to do is actually not position 10, but we want it to be that result minus two that will take us to the end of the text because the dash is position 10 and the space is position, position nine in this example. So I'm going to do minus two here. I think I'll get an error and I'll explain why in a second. But if I just do here. So we've got an error and the error is because some values um if i just put that back the error is because some call the char index call don't actually re return um a value to zero uh so to try and get the left position of a piece of text and the position being zero minus two doesn't make sense so it doesn't like that so what we need to do is we need to say okay let's just deal with the data that has um, a dash in. So if we do this, we now have dashes. We're only looking at data with dashes. We're only dealing with um, uh, bits of data that actually have a position for the dash. So now that when we add this minus two in, it will work and it will say, I get you. I've, I've got, I've, I'm guaranteed to have a dash. Um, I'm going to get you the left position of this text up to character 10 minus 2, which is character 8, and this is the result. And if we do the opposite and try and get that from the right, we need to do it ever so slightly differently. So we do the right call, but now what we're interested in here, let's imagine um, this is 21 characters big. The dash is at position 10. So we want the right hand based on the length 21 less 10. Let's start from there. So it does get a little bit complicated, but what we're saying here is the length is 21 characters, and we want we, we don't want the first 10 characters, certainly, or actually don't want the first 11 characters, but let's just deal with 10 at the minute. So we can say 
the position is going to be len power field, which is 21 in this example, less char index. And then the char index column, which in this case is 10. So this isn't exactly what we want yet, but let's just do this. So what I think we're seeing here is a space before each of these. And you won't see that, but maybe I can try and prove that. So if I just put um, uh, two single quotes there and I drag this up here, you'll see there's a space. We don't want the space. So actually what we want is we don't want it less 10. We want it less 11. Um, and that will get rid of that starting space. So if I just put here plus one, run that. Oh, aha, now then, <clears throat> that should work. However, the reason it isn't working now is because it's saying the result of this is 21 less 10, which is 11, plus one, which is 12, which is not what we want. What we want is 21 less 11, which is 10 plus 1. So if I just put a bracket around this, because it this has to be the calculation. It's got to be this minus the result of this, which is why we need the brackets. If I run that, we now get the data we want. And there's no space I can prove that, because I can drag that up here, and there's no space. Uh, that's the end of the video. I hope there was something helpful in there. I hope it made sense. I hope I didn't rush anything. If you've got any queries or comments, please um, send them and I will I'll reply. Um, thanks a lot for your time. See you next time.